All right, guys. This is Code Online, and in, in previous video, we added this our uh, posts. Okay, these posts uh, from our form. Now, in this video, we are going to delete this form, delete this post. Okay, and also show uh, how many total total posts do we have. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Uh, let's let's let's, and for that, we have to make uh, actions and reducers, and use that in our component. Okay, let's do that. Uh, we have to go in our actions. Let's register one type. We'll say delete post to that. Let's say delete post. Uh, it'll be delete all capital. Delete. You can do whatever you like, but I'll do all capital. Oh, delete. Delete post. All right. And yeah, after that, let's go to our post and here we want to make one uh function okay like this let's copy it let's copy this we're gonna do very fast okay delete post after that we'll say paste that and we'll we'll say delete post we got this single post deletion okay delete post and we'll we don't need this variable because we are just sending our you know id oh, 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 all right and to delete post uh we want to say which uh which post you want to delete so we need post id okay we'll send that from our you know whenever the button is clicked uh so we're gonna dispatch this function all right this action okay and let's let's send our uh in payload we'll send post id so that we can remove i will show that and in here i haven't make you know api we'll, we have to make that but let's let's do this this is es6 you know template literals and you can use you know uh, whenever a variable can be used there okay also that api slash i'll make uh i'll make like this slash post slash uh let's say slash dollar uh that should be inside all right and i'll say dollar post id so it'll remove uh post id you know which id that so let's make api okay like this to delete so we'll go to our web.php uh no 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 we we have to go in api.php because we are we have to do in api and yeah let's 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 say delete and let's say post slash and post this is id you know so and we'll go to post controller delete let's go there let's close this let's go to app http controller post controller yeah Let's make a function here, public function, delete, and let's have here dollar whatever. Do we have to use same down here? So we'll say, um, we'll say dollar deleted post is equals to. We have to find that post uh, from post model and it will take dollar post so it'll find from post okay that post which we want to delete and it will delete and we want to return response uh this post okay this idea of this post okay so we'll say response session dollar delete post and yeah we can delete that we can actually do that from you know this talent api tester but we'll do that from here because it's just simple so it'll just delete and return you know this deleted uh object okay so let's 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 do that here so we want to do delete post maybe just brought here yeah it automatically brought okay for us so that's good. Uh, now actions is completed. Now let's go to our reducer, and inside here let's go to our post. That's where we wanna go, and we we have to say like 
uh, we'll say case and case delete post it automatically bring uh, bring it for us and we haven't done post here we'll we'll do that uh, delete post we're going to return the state in post this is important uh, and everything will be done here okay uh, we'll say uh, we have a state dot post so we'll have all the post and that and then we, we want to filter okay filter is like removing okay uh, this JavaScript function okay filter we'll say post and you know it'll, it'll uh, take a loop like loop uh, it will take only a single post every time and we'll say if post uh, post dot id our this posted id which we have in state is not equals to our payload because we are sending that from payload remember uh, all right so we're returning id okay so if this happens it will remove okay so now let's go to our post item and let's let's implement our delete deletion um function let's import connect import connect um actually we have to wrap that around this from react redux all right and also let's believe import delete function again delete post delete posts action from that dot slash that dot slash action slash post all right after that let's also import prop types this is the basic you know and every 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 function you want to do you want to do this okay uh input prop types from um prop prop type all right and after that we'll just bring our delete post here delete post so we can use uh here you know where is that uh, on this click okay so we have we'll say that but let's connect here uh we don't need any maps to the props because we don't need any data here we're just gonna delete uh from you know our this Okay, we don't need any state data, okay, like post or whatever, because we have brought from props already. I uh, will say now, and we'll we'll, we'll call the great function, the post. All right. Wait a minute. Well, I guess I had very low charge, so I had to charge that. Okay. Uh, now let's. Let's have some prop types. This is post item. So let's say post item dot prop types um, is equals to uh, what we have. We have only delete post. We'll say this is function. So let's say the function is required, right? And let's have delete function. Let's let's see if everything is working. Good. Now let's have here on click function. So mm, there is nothing, but we'll say on click on click. We'll say what is there? Delete post, delete post, and we'll have to pass parameter post item. You know, post ID post dot. Uh, do we have anything? So let's have ID also here, and we'll say delete post ID, and now it'll it'll you uh you know uh, call this delete post on id this is post id and and whenever that is clicked you know in post we have multiple because we have mapped so whenever that is clicked i will know and we'll go to action post and it will go to delete post and, and we have seen that id it'll take that as parameter it'll 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 uh, you know do this so it should be actually used to delete um and it'll it'll uh you know call this action uh yeah delete and dispatch dispatch this and uh, after dispatch it will go to you know 
and which payload post ID so it'll, it'll take that ID it'll go in post and delete post it'll, you know this is dispatched so you will go here and and it will return the post uh, after filtering filtering the post uh, removing you know payload uh, post with ID of payload so let's refresh and let's delete okay oh my god why it is automatically called what happened oh on click did i oh my god see on click this should be on click delete post wait okay wait what could we miss? oh yeah here it is let's do arrow function every time this arrow function you know too bad for me all right let's enter the name uh, this should be let's say code online and we'll say this is code online post all right let's have this capital let's submit that you can see that let's add another that this will be random and we want to delete that okay see how it is added without reversing and it's deleted without reversing uh, so everything is done so we have all uh, now implemented deleted deletion now we want to show here okay uh total number of posts so let me go to uh you know my my you know this uh library reduct setup and i want to have that where is that because i have already implemented that style okay so i don't want to you know do that again uh i'll show you how it works but okay let's go in posts in posts uh after it's loaded when we map let's have that here so what it does is i i have i i need other indentation actually all right and uh after you know uh we have your access to post okay, because uh we have divided our um uh, state uh, to our props and from props to restructure our post and post the link will give our total number of post. Let's go and let's refresh. Yeah, we're good. Let's add one. All right, two. Let's delete this and we have to see one. Okay, yeah, that's good. So without refreshing, everything is done. We can now add our data. We can see total numbers. We can delete that. Okay, uh, it could be more beautiful if you will add edit yourself okay maybe this is mobile responsive i don't know it is quite responsive see yeah see but that links higher okay that that doesn't matter much right now all we are doing is functionality all right so um this is how we implement laravel react redux setup uh if if there is confusion you can definitely ask question and also i will have this code on github so if there is any problem you know uh i've done you know quite a measure time maybe so if you enjoy the video please subscribe my channel and like and comment uh, that's all you know it won't charge you anything uh it will, it will just motivate me to do more videos so thank you guys if you uh this was a great series if you enjoyed um that's pleasure for me, okay? Bye-bye.